now we're going to take a little bit of time to look at the surface anatomy of two of the big muscles that play a very important role in stabilizing your shoulder. That's the pec muscles and then the latissimus dorsi. Let's start out with the pec muscle. It's a big muscle, it's right here in the chest, and it starts from your sternum and then it reaches all the way out of the arm. In addition to starting from the sternum, the, the bone that you can feel right here, and the manubrium, the upper portion of it, it also has a, an origin along the, the collarbone. If you feel the bone right here, this is the collarbone, it also has an origin from these ribs, and you can feel these down here. Then this muscle that's really much bigger than one of the palm of my hand reaches all the way out and spirally attaches along the proximal humerus. The humerus you can feel is the, this bone, it's the funny bone. And the humerus is the, uh, at the very top of the humerus, there's a ball and it attaches to the socket of the scapula. And that's the ball and socket joint that we have up here that we know is the shoulder. So here's pec major. Pec minor is another muscle that actually lives underneath pec major. And if you go check out our 3D anatomy, you're gonna be able to see what pec minor looks like, but it's a lot harder to feel. So here's pec major. Latissimus, or the lat, latissimus dorsi, is in the back. It starts out down by the sacrum. You can feel that here. You can feel uh, a bone right here in, in the side of your low back, and this is the iliac crest. It attaches from a fascia that uh, is the, at the junction of your abs, and then the low back muscles called the thoracolumbar fascia. And then it reaches all the way up. If you take your hand and press, like you're pressing something back, you should feel a muscle start to be defined here. It should be somewhat triangle uh, shaped, and that muscle is latissimus. Like the pec, it reaches up and attaches, and has a long attachment, about this long, into the proximal humerus. The very cool thing is that as I move my arm forward, the pec muscle is shortened, and the latissimus muscle is sort of lengthened, but they're both creating stability. As I bring my arm back, the pec muscle is lengthened and the latissimus muscle is shortened. And so as I learn, practice moving your arm forward and engage the pec. Practice moving your arm back and engage the lat. As you do this, you should feel your shoulders slide down. That actually paradoxically makes more space inside your shoulder. And then by using these muscles, you should feel that you actually have more control and more stability in the shoulder. When you do that, then when you go out and do activities, throw a baseball, do yoga, lift weights, you're gonna be able to have more control here in the shoulder and therefore greater function.